Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more Last Train Home in what I am hoping is going to be the last episode of this series because we are in the final stretch to Vladivostok. In fact, the boat is leaving with or without me in a few days, so we've really got to start booking it. And I have really no intention of sort of sitting around and doing scavenging unless I absolutely have to, except for when there's, you know, some blockages like this. I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Gosh, dang it. But yeah, the real question now is, what are the Reds going to throw at me? What is, uh, what, what, what kind of nasty traps do they have in store? If we can get around all of those in a timely fashion, I'm going to be speed running through this episode. But we'll see. You never know. It's totally possible that the game is going to throw me an unexpected curveball, but we should have enough supplies that we can easily make it to Vladivostok if I hurry. Anything we want to buy here at the merchant? Absolutely not. If they had more gunpowder, I wouldn't mind buying it because it turns out I was lower on artillery shells than I thought because I've had to leave so many behind. Really would like to get more of those, but it's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. Just less boom. Oh, gosh. Dang it, another message. Oh, it's from Pergola this time, though. Hello, a young woman swaddled in a fur coat greets the soldiers. No fear in her steps. Okay, a message from Pergola. It's addressed to me. Oh, cool. Apologize for missing me, uh, but departure was unavoidable. Wait for my word at the next station. For the sake of the Republic, we must try to honor our agreement. Okay, well, I guess we'll get to the next town and then just sort of hang out for a bit. We shall pass. All right, got to do that like a Gandalf voice. We shall pass. Langer is organizing your messages in orders of importance. Da, 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 da. Message shows that the village is one of the Reds' main centers of operation. They have a radio station to coordinate their efforts. Oh, good. Let me guess. You want me to destroy their uh, radio station and some artillery guns. Ride through or take them out. Uh, ah, fine, we'll take them out. First, let's stop in Anda. Oh, good. It's another long mission. The Red Center of Operation lies ahead. Either we stop now or proceed with all haste. There's also plenty of resources in the camp, and as always, the locals are begging for help. Fine, I'll help. God. Always with the begging for help from these Russians. Good lord. Can they do anything on their own? Except for kill each other, apparently. No! We'll assist the civilians if we can, my guys say. We're far from home. We need, may need help, too. Guys, we're this close to getting home. I don't need to help out more. In fact, if we didn't help out, I'd have a better chance of making it home. The Reds have taken over a village. <sighs> Hearts and minds. Doesn't this feel like an early level mission? You know, the sort of thing we would have done at the very beginning of the game? Why are we rehashing this now? Yeah, there are some supplies to be found on this map. Literal chests full of just supplies, which I assume is going to be food when all is said and done. Okay, this should be three packs of supplies. Seems good enough. Now I just need to destroy those cannons, which is spelled differently, by the way. This apparently is very important to the lore, and we're going to destroy it. What's that quote? Let the past die, kill it if you have to, when you're about to completely destroy the lore and the canon? <laughs> Some of you guys are going to recognize that quote, and you'll appreciate what I'm saying, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Y'all know. That's one gun emplacement. Go boom, boom, boom. All right, thank you, scouts. And artillery is down. That was super easy. Okay, I was going to say let's go looting, but it looks like they're about to send some reinforcements into the area. We may need to book it. Yeah, those are reinforcements, all right. And they're coming after... Oh, hi. Am I supposed to talk to you? Was I supposed to talk to you to begin with? I think he just gives me free stuff. I don't care about free stuff. I'm good. Oh, crap. There's reinforcements coming in from behind. Oh, God. They are alerted already. Good. Yeah, no big deal. I think this could have been a hard mission, but if you stick to the bushes, no problem at all. Let's just drop off all the supplies, be a good Samaritan, and we are out of here. Looted a lot of stuff, didn't fire a shot. I like how the names of all of the villages and stuff are actually changing as we go. You can see that we are going away from the Russian and Slavic languages over toward... What, Mongolian? What, what, what used to be mostly in this area of Siberia? We've almost made it to Harbin. This is where I'm supposed to meet up with Pergler. Oh gosh, 20 stamina for this mission. Jeez, dude. Your advisor approaches you. The soldiers may find themselves in a dangerous situation. We are an enemy of all Russians. What about Pergler? If we want to save both the soldiers and Pergler, we need to act fast. Send a squad to find him. They should stay out of sight of both the Reds and the Whites as much as possible. All right, the ultimate stealth mission. I love it. 
Okay, it seems like we found Pergler and where he's hiding. He's in vital in the negotiation with the Russians. Yeah, we don't exactly want the Russians to immediately try to declare war on Czechoslovakia later. It's a new republic. It's a little bit too young to fight off Russia, even if they are in a civil war. Let's go find Pergler. Good lord, this place is already crawling with soldiers. I've had to take out three and more patrols keep coming down the streets. Eey. Good thing we have a good old-fashioned bushwhacking strategy. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be stealthy and all and just avoid detection, but no one can report you if they're all dead. Gosh, there are also alarm bells everywhere. I've already spotted three of them. Yeah, if you get detected, they are meant to come down hard on you, and they'll probably kill Pergler in the process. Ha! There's Pergler. Made it to the center of the town. Bit tricky in this mission, we'll say. Um, this place is really crawling. We must escape right now. I completely agree with you. Okay, we're in a really risky spot here. I'm stuck between two streets without any easy cover for my people. So if I get caught now... Oh, how did the tank notice me? How did the tank notice me? If that goes bad, we're in trouble. Oh, that right there is what I'm talking about. Hang on, you guys actually stay put. I just saw very briefly an armored car. I said stay put, didn't I? No, they don't listen to me, do they? No! There we go. All right, we're safe. We're safe. Good. God, <laughs> this is... This is the most intense stealth mission yet, I think, and it's only because every street is fraught with peril. I can barely make a single move. Oh, good lord. Go, 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 go. Cross the street. Cross the street while you can. Cross the street. Oh my gosh. Get into a walled-off area, please. What is going on? Is there an invisible wall here? They refuse to go through this gate. Hello? Well, that complicates things a little bit. Hey! Whoa! Why are there explosions happening over here? I just saw something go boom boom. All right, apparently if we're gonna try to cross the railroad tracks, we should prepare to dodge artillery fire. Oh my gosh, it's been literally almost 20 minutes of figuring out how to cross this intersection, gradually whittling them down one at a time. And now a dang tank is coming through and I'm stuck waiting even longer. Ah, uh, patience, patience, Provis. This is how you win. Funny thing is, it would have been hilariously easy to do if this door worked. Just a little bit more if I can just clear out some of these folks who are, who are getting in the way. Blow these guys up. Go, go, go. Back up, back up, back up. There's Gatling guns everywhere. Great. Okay, let's scout ahead. There's a battle going on, but I don't need to get involved. I just need to get around these last patrols. There's a tank. Okay, if I can get around these last guys over here, this guy's facing the wrong way, that's all I need. Use the train as cover and book it to the woods. Um, what I'm gonna do about- oh wait, the tank's got no one in it. Oh, perfect, okay, maybe we can still do this. Just gotta dodge the artillery fire that's actively trying to hit me, hey. Gosh, we don't have time to worry about this patrol. Alright, everyone book it, book it, book it, book it, go, 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 go! Ah, took one injury, okay, fine, fair enough, everyone out, and we're good. Whoa, oh. Pergler's recent ordeal has shown to be a man of strength, despite his diminutive stature and frail physique. I have a package, but I won't be going to Vladivostok with you. Why? I will not abandon Russia in her hour of need. Uh, you want to elaborate on that one? Oh, there's, there's a woman he intends to make his wife, and she's Russian. Ah. Got it. All right, so we get some documents uh, with information that could undermine the White Army's leadership and many officers in the Czechoslovaks. R really? Oh, okay. Some of these are truthful. Some of them are probably not. Think carefully before handing it over to your superiors. Do not open it. Right, um, okay, you said it was of critical importance, so I was sort of trusting the integrity of the info you're giving me, but if you're telling me I can't, then I don't know, maybe this just becomes another moral decision at the end of our journey. Great, I can either make or break Czechoslovakia. Okay, one last stretch to go, we're already halfway across, this is it. A distressing telegram. Oh, cause that's what I need right now. More distress. There's fighting in Vladivostok. Oh, we have to fight our way over to our ships. Great. If the Reds take the port, all is lost. Yeah, agreed. Not to mention on top of everything else, the ship isn't going to be waiting for me. So we need to book it. Gosh, with these obstructions! It's fine. My people are exhausted. They wouldn't be able to go fight or anything anyway. They need some time in order to heal up and get ready. We got plenty of fuel. We should be able to keep people nice and warm. Tell you what, we're gonna go double time here because it's less fuel efficient, but it also burns down the threat level a lot faster. At least such is the idea, and the less threat I have, the better, because that could still screw me over here. Hasn't been a problem this whole game, and I don't plan on it starting now. Oh, you guys are taunting me. I can see Vlada Vlada's stock. It's right there. Stop it with the obstruction! Ram it! I'm tired of this! Ram the dang thing! Oh, the whole train jolts. 
One of our men runs in with a report. We took damage. That's fine. We can handle it. And the only reason I'm doing that is because the threat was already too high. We'd go over to the third threshold, and I feel like our odds of getting hit would be way too high there. I'd rather just go ahead and take a little bit of durability damage and not get attacked. Still more obstructions getting cleared here. We're finding grenades on almost all of them, too. These reds are playing dirty. Last chance to pick up some really good guns. Yes, please. I will definitely take more automatic rifles and machine guns. Go, 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 go. It's not even that cold right now. We're fine. We've made it to Vladivostok. Now we just need to get the ship. Major, may I speak with you? Really is now the time? Fine, I'm listening, probably. I've been wanting to tell you something. Oh no, I've not been honest with you for most of the journey. I have to admit my memory has been foggy these past few weeks. Why? Nothing much, not anymore. We made it, our soldiers have made it. I'm glad, they're in good hands. Okay, I won't be on the boat. You know anything could happen, we're in for a battle. I wanted to thank you in person before the end. I trust our soldiers in Vladivostok will hold out and we'll all return home. First off, what do you mean you won't be on the boat? All right. Cool, you've made peace with yourself. That's great. You were hard on me on the start. You were needlessly hard on me at the start, but it's true. The soldiers are in good hands. Now, let's go. We have a ship to catch. Why are you saying goodbye? There's no... There's nothing in what you just said that makes me think you couldn't also get on the boat. Are you just assuming we're all gonna die? No one's died yet! All right. 24 energy! Recommended squad size 10. Max difficulty. This is it. There's no going back. We have stopped in Vladivostok. The train is quiet and calm. The soldiers are focused on the conflict ahead. Captain Langer has left the train. He hands you a letter. They don't seem surprised. Dear Major, I can only apologize for the trouble I have undoubtedly created by my actions, but the burden of command has been yours from the start. Despite my belief, it should have been my duty to lead our soldiers home. The fortress must be secured and the line against the enemy army is held. I have instructed our legionaries in everything they need to know. My journey ends here. Goodbye, Major. Uh, we've all read the letter. Oh, good. You all opened my mail. Every one of you, huh? Okay. Right. Um, what did Langer want us to do, then? Swallows dryly and shakes his head. The others don't dare to speak. Oh, for God's sake. Search his cabin. His holster is here. There's no gun. He's nowhere to be found. Great. I am anticipating that Langer is going to do some sort of heroic final stand thing, um, and it's going to save all of our butts. Y you just, my gamer senses are tingling. What do you guys think? After many miles and hardships, we finally made it. That's a really big gun. Oh, no. This is an actually entrenched star fort? Ah! We must capture and hold the fort and all its artillery so the ship can get... Oh, gosh. I need to take this. Oh, no! And the White Army with Captain Korolev is here. Hey, it's a good thing we made a friend, huh? We should make contact with the local resistance. Agreed. Yes, all the friends we can, let them throw themselves into the meat grinder. The city actually looks a little bit nicer than most of the other ones we've seen up to this point. Oh, look, a lot of ammo. I don't need ammo. We're totally fine. Yeah, Vladivostok. Pretty nice place. Um, too bad we're going to have to wreck it with artillery. I think we found some of the local resistance. All right, take the truck to the warehouse. If the Reg catches with this cargo, they will kill our families. One more mission to save the cities, huh? Ah! Seems like they're already fighting a few folks, though. Which might make my life easier dealing with the Reds. Maybe. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna use my scouts to scout the city out, check all of our corners, and see if we can't escort this truck. I keep hearing gunshots go off, and it freaks me out because I think that they're about to spot me, but they're all just doing target practice and or murdering civilians, as we're seeing right there. Not much I can do about it, though. The damage is done. There's a repair kit over here. I have to imagine that's going to be important eventually, if not already. Okay, so far coast appears to be clear. Let's drop off the truck. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. You're here for your ship, aren't you? Here's a present to help you. Explosives? Oh, you're too kind. All right, repair kits and explosives. Yeah, this is going to get fun later. The weird thing is, I don't even need to worry about loot anymore. In fact, I think we actually left our train behind permanently. Aw, oh, man, there was no long goodbye to the train that's carried us across the entirety of Russia? Oh, that feels disrespectful. Ah, oh, that's a Gatling gun. Oh, I don't even get to use any more artillery strikes, because everyone's off the train. Aw, oh, I didn't need to manufacture any more of these after all, it turns out. That sucks. Go, 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 get around before he turns back. Okay, we've gotten past the Gatling gun. Step one. Now we gotta go find the Allied commander, where he be. 
There he be. Captain Korolev is waiting for you. We've been sent with orders to kill or capture you on sight. Oh. Well, he has no intention of doing that. Yay! A Belov is gonna try to kill me. Hmm. Okay, so we need to kill this guy's lieutenant. Oh, that is a big tank. Hello, Belov! Uh-oh. Right, so now what? Are... Are the whites about to fight each other? Because I feel like that might be about to be what happens. Um, okay. Great, I guess I better get this stuff all set up. Um, hey, guys, back up, back up. Please don't get shot. All right, uh, that's a lot of enemies, including a really big tank, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with that if I'm completely honest. Oh, boy. All right, here's hoping we can actually, like, punch around a little bit. If I can just get around to the side, maybe I can toss some grenades or something, and that might help a little bit. Yeah, kind of like this. All right, toss grenades, toss grenades. It would help if the whites would also chuck a grenade or two, you know? Just saying. But, all right. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, it's looking at you. Please don't die. Okay, you need to, you need to move. <laughs> Unpack! Move! Hey, there's a cannon up here. Anyone want to use the cannon? That would be pretty good. No, it's fine. They're just shooting at the whites. We'll just keep chucking grenades. Oh, God, that white is very dead. Keep chucking grenades! It is seriously murdering so many whites here. Please blow up grenade. Oh, my God. It's so close. All right, everyone just shoot. Never mind, it's dead. Thank you. Only the commander survived. <laughs> All right, so where are you going, uh, elite officer? Just gonna hang out? Not gonna do anything? You said you were gonna help me, but I see you doing nothing. Cool. Hey, can I cross this bridge? No. All right, turn around. I no longer feel like I have any idea why I was helping the whites at all. They're standing by their promise of doing absolutely nothing. Hey, look, a bridge. Can I blow up the bridge behind me so that no one else is able to use it? Is that an option? No? I don't know what just happened. I just watched the scaffolding for this guy completely collapse under him, unprovoked. Again, I feel like I've got psychic powers. I looked at it and it blew up. All right, let's go ahead and lure these guys into a nice, neat little trap for my machine gun nests with no cover. Get them, boys. Pew! Faster than that, come on! You're taking so many injuries. What are you doing? God, this is why I don't trust you all. It's fine, it's fine. He just needs to survive the battle. He can heal up on the voyage home. Whoa! Once again, a thing just randomly blew up. Did I do this? No! Whoa! And it happened again! I literally just moved my mouse over it and it went BOOM! I'm psychic! Honestly, it's enough to make me really terrified to move my uh, units anywhere near <laughs> these explosive barrels, because you never freaking know when one's gonna go off on you. All right, at this point, I think we've cleared pretty much all the fort. There are a couple stragglers on the outside, but I should now be able to capture the fort and see what happens. I'm betting we're gonna have to defend this with our lives. And honestly, to that I say fair enough. They've even given me a field gun and they've given me a tank. Uh, so as long as they can't get through this portcullis over here, I'd like to think we could hold this area pretty well. All right, shore up the defenses, prepare for enemy reinforcements to arrive. That's about what I expected. They have guns of their own and they are going to attack from multiple directions. Oh, there's a bridge right here. Right. Um, as long as they don't open the gate, it shouldn't matter though, right? They should all still have to funnel through this area right here. We're gonna try to hold this position, even though I don't love the cannons and howitzers. If I have to fall back with this heavy machine gun, we will do so. My biggest vulnerability is this point. If they can break through, we're in trouble. I might honestly just pull back and defend over here anyway, just in case, you know? Like, if I chose this spot right here, I could guard the stairs here, and no one should be able to approach me without losing all of their cover. Maybe. Yeah, something like this, maybe? And then for good measure, I've got a tank. Maybe we can intercept them and hit them early. Our position's been detected by enemy aircraft. Pardon? Wait a minute, I thought I controlled the aircraft. Hey, I specifically remember taking an airfield for that exact purpose. Well, it's a good thing I didn't stay there then. That would have been death. All right, tank, now's your time to shine. Go ahead and shoot at him. Right there. Actually, right there at the barrel. How's the barrel? Can you shoot the barrel? Barrel, I want you to shoot the barrel. Barrel, shoot the freaking barrel. You're a tank for God's sake. Boom, that works. All right, that takes care of the first wave. Here comes the next. I don't know where they think they're going, but it's not where I am. So, okay, here comes a bunch more. All right, use the stairs, dummies. Come on, use the stairs. Boom! All oh, that tank does a job sometimes. Okay, I, you know, I made fun of these tanks and said they were terrible, but now I'm starting to think they're awesome. Are you going for the portcullis? They are, aren't they? 
Oh, there was totally a back door. It is a good thing I decided not to hold that ground. On the other hand, if they're able to gain some of the heavy weapons, this is gonna cause problems. Or take the point. Hey, wait, bombers! Behold the havoc wreaked by our savior in the sky! The dawn of a new age. Yeah, air support, man. Cass, it's king. Actually, if their artillery is down, this is an opportunity to reposition. We should take that because the point is far more defendable than where I am right now. If they're gonna keep swarming for the next five minutes, I wanna reposition. Let's get up over here. Oh God, they've got two armored cars coming in. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, uh, machine guns. Hopefully you guys can get them before they get you. Woo, okay, that's one and two. Okay, I guess I could actually push forward and try to make use of things like the machine guns and stuff. These are still here, they didn't get blown up. <sighs> no, but this is still a better choke point. I'd rather take this. I'm trying to use my recon effectively to know where they're gonna be approaching and I can see that they're gonna try to stop me over here. So I need to be set up with machine guns and ready to go. They're gonna try to come through over this direction, but I've got a small ambush waiting. Please mow them down before they can do anything. Go, 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 good, good. You guys take this guy out. If I have to bayonet charge, I certainly will. Um, can you guys get in a position to actually shoot a target? Cause these guys are just kind of out in the open and I don't love it. Hang on, good, good, okay, perfect. Reposition, oh God, there's a tank. Of course there's a tank. Why wouldn't there be a tank? There's gonna be a tank. Of course there's gonna be a tank. All right, um, eh, problems. Oh, frick me, there's three tanks. I don't know how to beat that, actually. We might be in a lick of trouble. I can try shooting them, but maybe I can just chuck some grenades. That's my only hope, honestly, is chuck a lot of grenades. Let's hope that this does some serious damage. I wish I had more grenadiers right about now. Uh, I feel like they're gonna blow me up and I need to run right now. Um... Guys, get ready to run, 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 for real, run. Good, that was one really good grenade chuck. Beautiful grenade chuck, even. Chuck another one, see if we can do some damage, kill off another tank, come on, do it. Boom, boom, there we go, all right. Took care of that, there's just the really big boy left. Uh, oh, and also, where, ah, where'd you guys come from? No, run! Oh my God, don't die, don't die. I haven't lost anyone yet and I don't intend to now. I think the big tank might be stuck with no idea where to go. Okay. Yes. Um, I've only got one grenade left, so I mean like I don't expect a ton out of this. I'd rather hold on to it in case. I just have to hold my position for 15 seconds. What if I do nothing? What if it doesn't come over here and make it onto this point? Do I just win? That could be an option. Hold on, let's just stare at him menacingly. He's confused and understandably so. Oh, wait, he can get in it turns out. But it doesn't even matter. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. I feel like that actually shouldn't have worked. <laughs> It's too big, fat, and stupid! All right, used up quite a lot of bullets, but no one died. There's a cacophony of explosions, gunfire, and screams in the distance, and then suddenly the madness ceases. There could be no clearer sign to the legionaries that they can now leave the city in earnest. You know what I'm disappointed about? One, no last stand by Captain Langer. Two, I didn't get to fire the really big guns on the star fort. That would have been cool. Hearing rushing footsteps splatting and crunching in the snow and the clanking and rattling of guns moving nearer, all of you are alerted. Some of the soldiers don't wait for any order and point their weapons in the direction of the sounds. All the weapons are lowered down as soon as the legionaries emerge from behind a corner. They won. The Reds have lost the city. The soldiers finally realize it. They can leave Russia and go home. The passage to the ship and out of the docks is now clear. Shortly after the victory, the harbor is full of hustle and bustle as the legionaries are boarding the ship. Some of them are carrying quite a lot, and some of them are leaving their stuff behind. One of the soldiers is carrying a cat. You have no idea where it came from. At the front of the ship's deck, you see Captain Langer standing alone in his coat, looking into the distance, puffing his pipe. Where the frick were you? You join him in his silent vigil. It will take several hours before you exchange some words, but at this very moment, you just stand there and refusing to look back at the harbor behind you. None of you would be here if we're not looking forward. Before the ship sails out, you look at each other. You cannot possibly name all the emotions which you see in his eyes, but one thing you are certain of, you feel the same. We are now on our way home. Wow, okay, that was fun. Uh, at long last, home for all of our men. Not a single one of my crew died. I mean, we left like eight people behind in Siberia, but I was full, dang it. What happened in Russia after we left? They continued fighting for several years. That kind of sucked. And Captain Linger write a book. Oh, 
You know, the book that this whole, like, game is inspired by, I presume. Which, again, I want to remind you, this game is based off of actual historical events, which is pretty crazy. So, do we actually get some sort of a summary as far as, like, how well we performed? Is that a thing? Doesn't look like it. We just get the credits. Well, Ashbourne Games, I think this was a tremendously fun game. Very creative, very fun to play. I'm sorry for breaking it just a little bit, but you have to admit it worked really well. And nonetheless, I had a great time. I just think the game was intended to be a little bit harder. The management of the train, for example, you know, we had no problems with food or coal the entire run. And I was being somewhat conservative, but not like ever really worried. That, that, that's the weird thing. I feel like at some point you were supposed to run a lot lower on resources and really struggle. Not to mention people actually like dying in a firefight. But that's just how good stealth is. Can't really blame me. It's too good. I think one simple change would probably fix a lot of that, actually. Have the AI respond when they see an unexpected dead body, you know? And they go on high alert and they warn people? Then I would actually feel like maybe stealth is a very situational thing. I also really, really regret that I didn't get the bigger train engine. I thought too small. I was too efficient. I should have gotten the big engine so I could have gotten another infantry co a car and brought everyone home. And also more storage. That would have been phenomenal. But did I do that? No. Still, it was fine. We got everybody home that we could. And that, my friends, is Last Train Home. What a really fun and creative game. I really did enjoy that. Both the story, the gameplay, the theming, just the idea of it. A really fun and perilous journey, and the fact that it's historically based just blows my mind. It's not a story I've ever heard before, at least until this. So, really, kudos to Ashbourne and to uh, THQ Nordic for this game. Phenomenal experience. And thank you all very much for watching this series. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, of course, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notify bell if you want to see my future content. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.